Okay, what are you going to tell me about? Um, something important. Babies can't talk. When I was a baby, I can't talk. And now you can? Yes. Language development is just completely extraordinary. I don't have any training wheels on my bike. The actual structure of language is fully developed by age four. My name is Margaret McLagan and I've spent a lifetime studying how we learn to talk. Babies will walk even if they're not helped. But if babies don't hear language, they won't speak. When you're at home all day with your baby, it's just natural to, to chat to them. What do you say? We just talk about everything, don't we? Yes. yes. I've got a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and eight is 11 months. My eldest only said, um, a few amount of words until he was about three because he had ear problems but once we got that result he spoke quite well my number two he spoke a lot because he had number one talking to him she's got lots to copy language is learned at a distance of one meter you've got to be close together the language has to be directed to the baby they don't listen to something that's not directed specifically to them. You just talk about what you're doing, really. Yeah. And talk about where you are, what you can see. This this The brain is wired so we can learn language, but we've got to have someone to copy. Mama. His grandma swore he said, uh, a way of saying hello the other day when she said hello to him, he kind of went, oh, like that. So he's starting to kind of copy. Initially, babies copy the intonation pattern, the way speech goes up and down. Are you are so handsome, eh? Here you are. You'll hear a baby going, ah, ah. A small baby's tongue is big compared with an adult's tongue. And when a baby can sit up, then the tongue flops forward. And when the tongue is right forward, you get an R. Ba, ba, ba. That's the first sound. Are you a baba? Are you a baba? Everybody thinks they're saying baby but actually all babies, all languages do it. Baba. Do you remember a first word, Rachel? Oh yeah, it was mum. <laughs> In my mind it was mum anyway. She said dada first, even though I banned it from the household. I said mama all day, mama, mama, mama. Yeah, now she says mama. I said dad. Speak to the child in your first language, in the language you know best, the language you're comfortable in. We only speak German at home to our little ones. My husband only speaks English, so we've got both languages um, just involved in their lives. I want to make sure that they are able to talk to their grandparents in the end. <laughs> Quite important to me to have that background, you know, it comes with a different culture as well, so they understand a bit more of that as well in the end. Your child will learn English later when they go to school or preschool, but they'll have a solid basis of language from your own language. I'm European and then their father is um, Samoan. Like we will say, like tofa for goodbye and alofa atu means I love you. Harrison's first real word other than the mama, dada, baba, nana was um, star. The first word usually comes somewhere between nine months and 18 months. 
This is boots, basic boots, hat, outside, all the good words. <laughs> By 18 months, they should have two words that they can put together. If the child's first word comes later, we always check, are they very, very active? She's a bit of a slow walker, but she has a lot of words. Often, apparently, sometimes they can be one or the other. I don't have to be eight There's only words. just starting to say a single word. The rat so, says... So he's not... I think Theo does most you of have the talking. To, I have to eat you, but you have, but you have no bones. Oakley's okay, got a few words. Uh, a bit slower than his older sister, so sometimes um, he gets frustrated uh, at trying to express himself, obviously because of the lack of communication. Children can always understand more than they can say. Especially about 18 months, they get really, really frustrated. Everybody's talking and they want to talk too. Yeah, he definitely does get frustrated because he obviously wants to, he knows what he wants to say, but he can't always actually say it. Um, a lot of, I mean, he can say no really well, so he basically says no to absolutely everything you ask him. And who's this here? Rocky. Rocky. Rocky is my best friend. What happens next is more and more things get put together. So sentences get longer and longer and longer. I'm just a little boy at a moment. Um, mum, mum, mum. As you talk to your child, as you tell them stories, you're setting them up for life. Do you want to talk for a bit more, Micah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been studying language for over 40 years and it still absolutely fascinates me. Hi. Hi. Say Yelena, say Tofa. Bye.